Hi guys, it's Rick Shields down here at Quest Golf Academy here at Prairie Sports Village and I've got Rob Potter here to do some testing. And we've got our hands, or Rob's got his hands, on the Ping Eye Blade. This is going to be an interesting one. Yeah. What do you think? Interesting concept from Ping. I take it this is uh, replacing the S series that they did? Yes, yeah, so they had their, their, their normal line of golf club is an S, an I and a G. Right. They used to have numbers, they've now not got numbers. Just got letters now. And they've now changed the S into an I blade. Right. I really used to like the I series, uh, the, the S series. They were gorgeous irons. Well, I had two sets of the S series. You I had did, the S56s, you? S55s, and now I'm rocking the I blades currently. Yeah, and, and there is subtle change to them. Uh, only subtle. Previously, yeah, yeah, from S55 to S56. It started at S59, then went S58, 57, 56, Six. 55, and then they got. Yeah. They brought these out. I like them. They, they look very, very nice. Uh, very sleek and, and sexy. Uh, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're bonny club. They're very simple, aren't they? Yeah, they are, they're, there's nothing to them. It does exactly as it says in the tin, pretty much. Yeah, uh, it, it's, it's, an iron, it's an iron, it's the blade. It, it's, it's a Ron seal. It's brilliant. <laughs> it's, um, it's not, I, and I didn't say this in my review, but actually after thinking, it's not a blade blade. No. It's got cavity. Mm, this yeah. is a cavity back iron. Yeah. Um, it's not super, super tiny blade. We're going to be in 7-iron. Seven 7-iron seven loft of this is 34 degrees. Uh, very similar to the, to the Mizuno JPX 900 Tour, which we've already tested. Um, let's give this a whack. Disclaimer, this is not tailored to Rob. None of the golf clubs are tailored perfectly to Rob. Uh, but it gives a bit of an idea of the actual club. They're pretty this much is just, a black spot, if that's any help to yeah, so it, that's pretty. That, that's pretty... Well, actually... Blue spot has now become standard. I reckon you'd be more red spot. Right, that's slightly flatter, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I can't remember how many degrees, but slightly flatter. But black spot, we can get a bit of an idea. So let's give this a hit. What do you think about the look behind the ball? Behind the ball, very nice again. Um, it, it doesn't really phase me, but I know what sort of a club this is. So I'm not preconceptions of what the results are going to be, but I kind of get an idea what might be. Uh, but yeah, it doesn't fear me at all. It doesn't bother me. What's it? I think it's a lovely club. Okay, lovely cool. club. Let's give us it. Let's give it a slap. Good strike, Rob. It's a little bit left. Yeah, it was a little bit. Cracking strike. How did that feel? Yeah, it felt all right for the first. It was very, as what I expect ping B, not much feel. Okay. Uh, in, in total honesty with you. No, they don't make super soft golf clubs. No, no, they don't. It's quite a long way left, actually. It wasn't, wasn't my best hit. That was nice. That's that leads back. That was that was that was as middle as I thought I could middle it. Yeah, well don't forget this is 34 degrees of loft on the 7-9, so it's not super strong. Oh. Right, we're gonna hit three more, so we've got five to look at the data from, uh, and then we'll compare it to some of the clubs that we've tested so far. Right guys, so the results are in. We've hit five shots with the ping eye blade and we see interesting results. Mm. Very yeah. interesting. Um, I've thrown up on the screen the Callaway XR Pro, which is Rob's, Rob's current iron, 31 degrees for the seven iron. And I've also kept in there the JPX Tour, which is very much in line with this golf club, almost a direct competitor of this golf club. Um, and we see much more similarities with the JPX Tour than we definitely do with the Callaway XR. Yeah. Before we look at the numbers, how did, it, how did it feel when you hit it? Again, with it being a ping, there wasn't much feel off the face, there wasn't much response I got from it at all. No, I must um, have, I'll, I'll back you up with that. It's never very, it's never very soft feel. No, no. I don't believe they've ever made a forged iron. No, I, the, the, I think they tried, the, I think there was a set that they brought out, they tried, to, there was a first answer. forged set, yeah. Answer, answer, answer. but it, it flopped, complete flop. Yeah, and it, it, there, was, there was no feel of a forge of it. it I think we've tested them ones. No, we've never we done the answer. I, I've tried them anyway, okay. I have it, and there was, there was nothing to them, it didn't feel like a forge club at all. So they've not stamped, they've not put forge into this, it's supposed to be, I think, I think they could have done. Yeah. I think they could, but typically what a, a company makes force comes for is to give it the fl flexibility to either de-loft, add loft and change the angle. 
Ping seem to be able to do all that anyway. Well, they do that with that slot. That cavity at the back, so they can bend the loft and, and bend the line angle. But I do think they sacrifice a little bit the feel. Yeah, I, I think they'd actually, they'd sell more to the, the more elite market if they'd actually just, you know, put away the standards to one side and go, you know, we're going to make a Forge Golf Club. We're going to run for 10 years with a Forge Golf Club yeah. and see how it goes. And they're going to be, in, they're going to be in competing then against the likes of Titleist, Mizuno, who are, who are the kings of Forged. Really. I would agree. Distance-wise on that eye blade was 140 carry distance. Don't forget it's 34 degrees and more loft than the Callaway. Um, 101 ball speed, which is slower than JPX Tour. Spin rate was higher than the JPX Tour, but we just had no distance at all. It was, it was just... We didn't hit the greatest golf shots in the world, but, but very nice golf shots, but not even the best shot looked like it was ever going to threaten 150 carry distance. Um, give us a Rob's rating. Rob's rating. This Rob's is... rating for this. It's not my kind of club. It looks nice, uh, I've got to admit. So for that, I'm giving it an eight, a seven and a half, eight. Um, cause Make it, a mind up. Give it an eight, because it does look nice. We're giving it an eight, uh, but it's just, it, it's not for me. <laughs> so it's same in same the JPX 900 Tour. Yeah, it's around that mark. It, I it's, think it's, for you, it's identical club. The, the results for this is exactly the same as what I had off my Razor X Pro, uh, Tours in yeah. terms of distance. Yeah. And that was a stock cast golf club. So yeah. it's, it's, not, it's not better for me. So guys, thanks very much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video of the Ping Eye Blade. If you want to see my review, you can do it in the corner. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. You can do that by clicking the big circle down here below. Uh, don't forget to check out Rob on Twitter. Um, he does some... What's the, what's the good word? Controversial comments. Yeah. <laughs> Controversial photographs. Uh, yeah. In fact, you know, guys, don't follow Rob. <laughs> don't follow him. And if you do, think wisely. Why? <laughs> Guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please do click subscribe, like, comment below. We'll see you soon.